This is tutorial 6 in our Evil Clutches tutorial series where we're learning to use Game Maker Studio 2. So far in this series you have learnt a whole heap of skills. You can see them here highlighted in our level 2 area here and keep in mind that our objective is to understand how to add objects to a game which move around on their own accord or in response to the player and interact with other objects. In this particular video, you are going to learn how to create the baby object. So far, we have ticked off all of these specifications. That's all the mother ones, most of the boss specifications, and at least one of the demon specifications. So then we are now going to work on releasing the babies and the specification here, which will complete the boss specifications and also making our baby dragons move straight to the left. Hey folks, so most of this stuff should look pretty familiar to you now. You should get down pat. So we are creating a new object. The first thing we're going to do is create the sprite for that object. I'm going to import the sprite and that is the sprite of the baby. There we are, opening that up there. Yep, go ahead. I am going to edit that image and remove the brown background, shift clicking to select all of the um, frames, removing the color and happy with that. Going back out, setting our animation speed 24 frames, which is probably a little bit too fast. So let's try that at 12, see how it looks, uh, it's a bit slow. Um, let's see between 16. That looks a bit better. Radio, and I need to name that. Oh, I just changed the origin point. Don't want to do that. Um, top left, thank you. And we're going to change it SPR underscore baby. Radio. Sprite has been created, coming down here. Now it's time to create the object. Object OBJ Baby. We're going to load the sprite. Go there. Okay, and now we've got to think about the events that are going in here. So the event is so basically very similar to the demons. If the babies are going to get randomly spawned and they're going to move left across the screen. They're not going to move up and down, just straight across. So I'm going to add the event, which is a create event. So when they get created, hiding the dock there. When they get created, they just move straight left across the screen. So that's just a set direction. So this will be to our, our movements here move in a set direction, it doesn't have to be random, it's just straight left across the screen. Then we've got to give them a speed, so set the speed, and that speed is going to be set to 12. So, let's set that speed to 12. Radio, so that's the create one. And the last thing I want to do is if the baby moves outside of the screen, outside of the room, we want to destroy that instance. So I'm going to add an event which is other outside room. We all know what these do. We've done them before. Destroy instance. And so the baby goes outside of the room and then we destroy that instance. Right here. So the baby object has been made. Now we need to make it spawn. Now the baby instance also spawns from the boss. So I'm going back to the boss object here and opening him up. And when are we going to do that? We're going to do this as a step as well too. So in the step event, we're going to have, um, can we add another step event just here, right, same one. Okay, so in here we've got the first one, which goes to um, random number demon spawn. So the second one, we need to do a second random number. So I'm just going to type random in here. If I spell it right, that'd be great random number get random number and he needs to come under here so this just flows on after we decide whether or not to spawn the demon we then go on to make a random number and we're going to make this a integer as well too now we don't want as many um, babies as we do want the demon so i'm going to make it a one in 100 chance that this is going to happen and i'm going to call this baby spawn 
Radio, and it's a temporary variable as well too, because we're only using it for this instance. So, now we've got that set, we need to, um, if variable, we need to go and look at our ifs, and if variable come into here, and if the variable called um, baby spawn, oops, if that is equal to one, we want it to create an instance of object baby. So create instance of object baby, and we'll refer to zero and zero. And that's it. So our baby has been set. So let's see if that's going to work for us. Waiting for baby to be spawned. Be really good. Yay! There we are. Baby's been spawned. Oh, there we are. Okay, so it's doing what we wanted to do. There you go, we have now completed all the specifications in relation to the boss demon and we've completed the first specification for the baby dragon objects. And there'll be no surprise that in doing this, this um, in this video, you have actually learned nothing new, we have just been applying the knowledge that we have learned in our previous tutorials.